Yo guys, what's up? It's Primal, and um, today in this video, I want to talk about the CDL kickoff event. Um, overall, pretty good. Um, uh, the ending just happened. Optic beat LA Thieves, which uh, I predicted. I obviously, you know, anybody in their right mind picked Optic to win. And yeah, so in this video, I want to talk about the CDL kickoff and what I think. And the first part of this video is going to be who I thought was the most impressive and who I thought disappointed me the most. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so the team that impressed me the most when it comes to overall, like what they did was between like in both of these sections of the videos, like who I think was like impressed me the most and who I think disappointed me the most, there's gonna be two teams. The two teams that impressed me the most were Optic Chicago and the Florida Mutineers. Okay, so we obviously have to talk about the Florida Mutineers first. So let's go ahead and talk about them. Pharaoh feeling himself so far and a monster map one as well as he led all players. Pharaoh trying to be the impact player right now for his boys. For the win, Pharaoh wants it. Pharaoh well, made it interesting, yeah. right? <laughs> Florida Mutineers are just simply on point. All right, so obviously I had to put in the Pharaoh tribute. Uh, rest in peace, Pharaoh. Um, so yeah, uh, Florida Mutineers, they beat Atlanta Phase 3-2. to two. They looked very scary. They look like one of the eight. They look like a top three team in the league. They looked very good. Um, they When they would beat FaZe in a series, it would be a domination. It would just be straight dominance. When FaZe would win a game, it would be because the Mutineers made one tiny mistake and someone like Arcides or Simp capitalized off of it. And that's the only reason that FaZe would win any of the matches. And whenever FaZe would win, it would be a very close match. It would be super close. But every single time Mutineers would win, it would be dominating it would be in dominating fashion you just never felt like the the mutineers were losing that series the only game where the mutineers looked a bit off was game one garrison hardpoint i think that was game one yeah garrison hardpoint that was the only time when they actually looked a little bit off rest of the time they were on point they were dominating phase on the map they were you know, executing on S&D, they executed trades very well. They had good communication. Um, and they caused FaZe to make mistakes that you never see players on FaZe make or FaZe in general. You never see FaZe make those kind of mistakes because FaZe always has a really good roster. You never see those players make the, make the mistakes that they made. So, yeah, overall, Mutineers were probably the second best team of the weekend when it comes to the performance so far. Um, I know people are expecting me to put Dallas Empire here. The reason why I didn't put Empire here is because they went up against a team that had no practice at all. They literally practiced with that team. Like, they essentially had no practice. The subliners. Because they had Zuma retire. They had Zuma retire, so then they had to replace him with Diamond Con, and they literally had two days of practice or three days of practice with Diamond Con, so they were kind of screwed over. If you give that team some more time, I can see the subliners developing because they did have some promising parts in their gameplay against the Empire. But yeah, back on track. Mutineers, overall, their best player, the most impressive player would have to be a tie for me between Skies and Awakening. Awakening looked really good. Skies was nasty in that search and de in that search and destroy on Checkmate. Checkmate search and destroy is um, right now looking like a very strong point for all of Florida, not just Skies. But Skies and Awakening really did uh, lead the way there, um, especially when it comes to kills and slaying out. Neptune, the new player, he did really good. And slacked being slacked, he did good. Overall, the team, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would I rate them? I would rate them a 9.6. If they fix the tiny mistakes that cost them that two, those two maps to phase, which then forced a game 5, this would be a 10 out of 10 performance. So, overall, Mutineers did good. Now we're getting to the team that everyone wants to see, the Optic Chicago. <laughs> Oh boy, oh 
boy, where do I begin with Optic? Optic Chicago. Overall, they had the best performance of the weekend. Un they, alongside Dallas Empire, they were the only team to get a 3-0 sweep, in, the, a 3-0 victory sweep on the CDL Kickoff Classic, but they 3-0'd one of the best teams in the league in LA Thieves. And I think that goes a long way. Hard point looked disgusting as always scump informal we already know how good t2p is at hard point envoy looked um he looked a little bit off on that hard point um until there at the very end dashy had the 11 kill spree dashy looked amazing he had like i think a 1.36 kd at the end of the series um and then we get onto the search and destroy uh, search and destroy was another dominating game um they did a good job at getting trades but la thieves did look pretty promising and um la thieves look pretty promising on the snd but optic just dominated them on trades gus just outsmarting them everything so overall optic had the best performance and the control domination um control just do they just dominated like 3-0 sweep i think it was a 3-0 i think on the control yeah it was and yeah optic wins 3-0 over one of the best teams in the league LA Thieves. Everyone was expecting this to go to five games. Not me. I knew this was going to be like a 3-1 or a 3-0. I wasn't expecting it to be. I wasn't expecting it to be a 3-0 in that fashion. The map, the separation of score and, you know, the, the amount of kills that, that Optic was getting over LA Thieves was incredible. I've never seen anything like it um, so far on the kickoff during the kickoff i didn't i didn't see any of it besides like maybe like a map with florida and phase didn't see anything like it um so yeah optic takes the best performance obviously um they're looking very good right now i do think overall with them going up against a very good team in the la thieves and them dominating them like that right now this is an early call it's a bold call i'm gonna get called out for this i have optic winning champs right now i do have optic winning champs if they can keep up with empire and because we all know how good Empire is, they're gonna work their uh, they're gonna work their tails off, and they're gonna keep getting better, and that's how they are. But right now, I just have more confidence in Optic than I do in Empire. I think Empire is still one of the top three teams in the league, easily top two. And yeah, um, so that's all I really have to say about Optic. It was a pure domination, Scump. Looked like Scump, Formal looked like Formal, Dashy looked like Dashy, and Envoy did Envoy things. Um, they all played how they were supposed to play. You can definitely tell when they're all playing together in the Hex Quarters, it really does help out because it makes them feel like they're at a tournament or on a land together with each other. And I do think for champs, all of the teams should compete at the Hex Quarters. I think they can set that up perfectly in the Hex Quarters. I think at champs this year, all the teams should go to Texas. All the teams should go to Tex to Dallas or Fr Frisco, where the Hex Quarters is. And they, all the teams need to make champs on LAN. And because I think that's the best way to play champs. But, yeah. Off of Optic Chicago, they did really good. They did what I expected them to do. Obviously, I'm a big Optic fan. I'm pretty sure majority yeah literally 90 percent of the cdl fans are optic fans and then you know you got that little five percent that are envy and then you got the little three percent that are phase and then you have five three and then you got the little two percent that are 100 thieves or vice versa between phase and 100 thieves but yeah literally everyone's an optic fan but yeah um see so you guys later and i will actually give you guys my two disappointing teams tomorrow so yeah peace out because I got to go do some things. I would do it in this video, but I'm going to go ahead and do it tomorrow. Peace.